what records can you obtain from the school district in a FOIA request? So I always want you to, um, and this is kind of a new training that I just took. I always want you guys, when you do it, and part of the academy, we have those documents available for you. Um, <clears throat> um, put on there, when you, when you do the request, indicate FOIA and FERPA, Freedom of Information Act and FERPA, Family um, Educational Protection Act, um, because schools lie to you and try to charge you money. I don't know if you ever noticed that. But talk about discrimination, because obviously there's people in the district that couldn't pay. I had um, a school district, I won't tell you which one, Katie, independent school district, and they were going to charge a lady for her 504 records, like six grand. I said, we're not paying it. And she goes, okay, they'll be right at the front desk. So when people are charging you for your records, I would ask, where'd you get that hourly rate? Um, but what can you ask for? So I'm going to ask for, as it relates to those of us that are on the panel tonight and advocates, we always want we get op opening documents, the last three records. Why? Because we're looking for pattern pathology and, you know, repeating stuff for kiddos. Um, but I'm going to ask for all of their educational records. Don't just email and say, I want my kids' records. You're not going to get that. So you want all of their IEPs, their uh, 504s, their evaluations, um, any email with your student's ID on it or your student's name. And then I would list uh, your known teachers for the last three years. Um, and then um, I think you it can be a little surprising when you get them as somebody that does due process hearing. What is that? Um, and um, uh, filings for parents. You know, I try to tell them to get the records and don't look at them because sometimes they get really angry. <laughs> I'm like, could you just get them and then cover your eyes and get them over to me? Because uh, you'll be surprised what people forget that they're on, you know, make it up as you go independent ISD and they're just typing away it. Oh my God, every time that Karen comes in the district, oh, we have to all get our paperwork in order. Wow, you should have your paperwork in order whether anybody comes in the district. But yeah, definitely ask for that. And it's 45 school days, 40, I mean, 45 paper days. So um, get your records. It's important. You'll know what you don't know.